but we want the same thing. He's been told that so many times. We want the same thing, Kaz. And then he gets screwed over. No threat to you. Perhaps. But better to nip a fledgling faction in the bud than let it grow into a bigger threat down the road. A drop of blood to save a gallon. I don't agree. I'm not asking you to. I will outrace Malachi in the hunt for Metatron, and I will certainly outrace you on your own. But if you can set aside your qualms about methods for one second, there's no reason the two of us can't take him down together. What a shock he's asking him for a proposition to join him. Didn't see that come in. He's gonna get screwed again, isn't he? Can I help you? Yeah, hi, agents Nixon McVee. Need to take a look at your uh, rental records. Uh, my manager's not here. I really don't think I should. Hey, the records. Well, okay, check it out. Corridor Q, three adjacent units separate from the others. I mean, Kenny said there are three hostages, right? Yeah. Okay. It's all leased by the same guy, a D. Webster. D. Webster, Wait, as in like Daniel Webster. Well, I know a lame Crowley in joke when I see one. <laughs> Can this guy be trusted? I know he's a bit of a dork, but you never know. Looks like the storage unit that uh, John left them, doesn't it? <laughs> Nailed it, Sam! Miss Trey! Miss Trey, hey, hey, hey! Hey, it's me! It's Sam! It's Sam! Oh my gosh! We have to get out of here before he comes back. Is Kevin with you? No, I killed him. It wasn't really me, but still. <laughs> Great. I feel like Sam's that strong that he could just rip that door right up. Oh, yeah, it was him. Behind you, Dean. You sure this is the one leased by Webster? Yeah, this is it. I mean, his name is Dell. This isn't Crowley's unit. <laughs> <sighs> what are these locations? Sightings of Metatron. Oh, he's on it, he's isn't been he? On Earth. Three times we know of so far. That's the benefit of a massive ground operation. Why wait? With this kind of information, I'd lure him out. I knew you'd be an asset. No one's as motivated as you to take him down. I've had my hands so full with the factions, it's distracted me from the real goal. But with you by my side? Where we go? The new boss and the ultimate rebel working together? Think of the message that would send to would-be dissidents. They'd finally understand that resistance is futile. Think of the bloodshed we could avert. All what create. United Angel Kind could accomplish in heaven, elsewhere. Is this Malachi? No. Art, what are you doing? What needs to be done? I'm gonna torture the rebel, find out what he knows, then kill him, and you're going to help. Kaz, please, now. There we go. All right. Oh. There's, a, there's an electrical line leads to the control panel. The first thing you do is smash the camera. Okay, this might take a while. Smash the camera first. We have to unplug the ground wire first. If this is standard U.S. color coding, it should be the green one. Okay. Helping Kevin with his engineering club assignments, I picked up a thing or two. I love her. I'm sure he insisted, but I trust you weren't foolish enough to bring Kevin along on this mission. That you left him someplace safe? I mean... Of course. Oh, Good. we lied. Oh, well, we have to... to be fair, if he did tell her, then she'd lose all motivation and she'd become very unstable. Listen. Is he going to tell her anyway? Miss Tran. He is. Oh, dear me. You will take me to my son. Oh, she handled that way better than I thought. Whew. Call Crowley to inform him that I've single-handedly caught the Winchesters. Think I'll get a thank you? No. Yeah, you're right, kid. He won't give you credit. If anything, he'll be pissed. What? Well, me and Crowley, we're, we're tight now. The thickest thieves. It's all just last month. We, uh, had a grand old time. 
out partying with humans, with hunters, while I languish here in this go-nowhere, no-kill joke of a job. Partying is a bit of an exaggeration. This job blows. I quit. Uh... No. Now finish him off. Bartholomew doesn't need to be like this. Do you know why they brought you back from the battlefield? The truth? Yes, I know the truth. Our leaders wanted those captives killed. And they knew you'd stand in the way of their order. Said you didn't have it in you. That you couldn't do what needed to be done. But I know different. I know you've changed. I'm not a murderer. You weren't. Not then. But since then, you've slaughtered thousands of angels. You killed Malachi's man for his grace. Who I was. What I did. That's not who I am. No? Then who are you? I want to work with you, Castiel, but I need proof that you can do what has to be done. But why does this have to be done, though? This has to be done. Why? He, look at him. He's no I threat. I was never free to leave. My only choice was to obey or be killed. Well, I choose. I am truly sorry to hear that. No! <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since I've done this? <clears throat> I thank you for reminding me what I truly am. You always thought you were better than me. Not better than you per se, just better than your choices. Angels fighting angels has to stop somewhere. Might as well stop with me. Fine. Stand down! This is between me and the rebel. Do it. No. What are you now? A penitent? I'm nothing. You never did understand, Castiel. There can be no peace without bloodshed. Oh, no. <gasps> He, he had to do that then. Well, at least they've witnessed that as well. He didn't want to kill him. He was forced to. So it'll be interesting to see where their loyalties lie now as well. And who they say what they've saw to. Much worse. Where's Mrs. Trump? Oh, there she is. Do the honors, Mr. Ann. With pleasure. I was just following orders. <laughs> Could he not have, like, opened his mouth and... I think he, his stuff flew everywhere. His stuff fly everywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or was he bound with the, the witchy stuff? Oh, I'm probably gonna cry yeah. here. Well, we got her. She's alive. She's here. But well, we wanted to give you a moment to you know, process. Oh. Does she know? Kevin? Oh no. <laughs> Hello, son. Hey, mom. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, this show is cruel. If Kevin's spirit is bound to some object here, it'll be that one. This is it. You may have lost the war, Rebecca, but you tried a new way. I have my respect for that. Ooh. I don't want to fight, but if I have to, I will. I didn't come to fight. Interesting. When I fell, I thought I had no choice. But yesterday you showed me that there is a choice, and I choose you. He doesn't want to be a leader, though, does he? I'm no leader. Yes, you are. If you will have me, Castiel, I will follow you. Very intense, isn't he? Now that I found her, not letting her out of my sight. She's my responsibility. You were ours. Yeah, I mean, we failed you. I... Sam, I know that wasn't you. Go put a blade in that asshat who possessed you and called Square. Guys, thank you. You could thank us when we get you to heaven where you belong. 
Okay, until then, enjoy your time with your mom. The uh, uninterrupted 24-7, no escape quality time. Dick. <laughs> hey, before I go, you guys promised me something. Yeah, anyway. No. Me too. Maple. Get over it. Oh, my God. Dudes, just because you couldn't see me doesn't mean I couldn't see you. Drama, fighting, it's stupid. It is stupid. My mom's taking home, it goes. You two, you're both still here. Of course. Promise. <clears throat> yeah. Good. I hate this show. Stupid show making me feel things. Well, that was... Sam, you promised. That was really rude, Sam. Really rude. I hated that. By hate, I mean love. <sighs> Damn this show. I swear it's every time I wear makeup as well, they decide to make me cry. So it does it again. It hits me right in the feely feels with the whole Kevin and Mrs. Tran reunion, as well as how Kevin dealt with the whole death thing. It breaks me. I just, I, I don't want him to be dead. They keep taking these amazing characters and it's just, oh. Why? I mean, it does make for great TV, let's be honest with each other. But it hurts to watch, really hurts to watch. Anywho, where do I begin? So I was worried when I saw Kevin straight away because I wasn't sure how he was gonna handle the death and if he was gonna blame Dean for it as well. And the reason I say that is because Kevin always tried to confide in Dean with his worries and his concerns re Crowley and his mum and the whole profit thing really. And Dean always tried to reassure him and be there for him. But Kevin still ended up, like he said, he ends up getting screwed over a lot of the time and then obviously it landed in him dying so there was that small percentage that he was going to blame Dean for it but I am beyond relieved that that wasn't the case he said that he's sick of listening to Dean's self-pity party and basically that he just doesn't blame him for what happened and I felt a weight lifted, so I hope that Dean feels that same weight lifted as well. What hurt a lot was that ending, because Sam was like, yeah, I promise, like, we'll get over it, don't you worry. The second he leaves the room, Chow Dean hated that. I feel like Dean did wrong with his decision, but I also feel like Sam's sort of bluntness and him punishing Dean, I don't agree with it. And it's, it, whether it's just because I love the boys and I want them to be all good, which therefore just makes me blame Sam for being cold towards Dean. I don't know. But he seems to be very aggressive with his anger at the minute. There doesn't seem to be any leeway, which is funny because it is usually Sam that sort of goes back and is more open to fixing any issues that they have. I think that's why this time it hurts so much more because I honestly feel like no one's gonna punish Dean more than himself as well. He's so hard on himself, especially when it comes to Sam. So with Sam not being on board with the decision that he's made, that's gonna kill Dean inside for that because his whole, his whole, I know I always say it, but his whole purpose in life is to protect him. So if Sam feels like he wasn't or doesn't need that protection, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's so rough, so rough to watch. And so we are now on episode 14, so next time we'll be 15. So we're getting close. We're smashing through this season. I've loved every episode so far, and I cannot wait to see where this season goes. I have high hopes, I really do. And I I don't think I'll be disappointed at this rate. I mean, I've not been disappointed yet and I, I feel the build. I feel it and I, I, I want to explore it. Another key point to this episode, plot wise, was that Kevin and all spirits now are trapped in this limbo 
because they don't know what's happening in heaven. That's huge. That is huge. They're going to be overrun in the spirit world. Obviously, the longer it takes to sort out heaven, the more vengeful spirits that will be running amok, which is terrifying to me. So yeah, Kevin is a new fresh death. So he's not vengeful right now. But what about all the other deaths that happened a while ago that are getting more and more vengeful as we speak? Terrifying. <laughs> Plus the bunker was haunted. So just to clarify, was that haunted because Kevin passed in the bunker? So there's no worry that all these vengeful spirits are gonna start invading the bunker, right? Or wrong? Don't tell me. <laughs> I shall find out. It was hard seeing Kevin as a spirit, but there was also a, a sigh of relief knowing that he was handling it so well. Maybe because when he was alive, he had it very rough. He was pushed to his limits every single day, working his fingers to the bone and his mind was just mashed with all the information that he was trying to process, being a prophet and all. So maybe his death was sort of a cheeky out to that. Still hate it, of course. Or maybe that's why his mindset is more accepting of it, just because he had it so rough when he was alive. Again, doesn't make it right, and I wish he was alive. But now that he's with his mum, because it was his mum being dead or alive and not knowing was the, re the real thing that was crippling him. So now he knows that she's alive and he's with her all the time. He has that sense of peace there. I just hope that they solve the whole heaven thing before he turns ventral and maybe attacked Mrs. Tran, because I don't want to see that. She's such a good actress as well, like that emotion that she portrayed, oh my gosh. A plus. A totally different character to what she played in Friends as well, and a totally different style of show, like just shows how talented she is. So another amazing, amazing episode. And I cannot wait to watch episode 15. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. This week, I'd like to give a very special shout out to Matthew Richardson. You've been supporting me for some time on my Patreon and it hasn't gone unnoticed. I want to thank you so much for all the support that you've given me. And I really do hope that you continue to enjoy my content furthermore and you stick around. Please everyone feel free to check out some of my other content over on Patreon. Patreon. I have extended videos and early uploads over on there as well as a new tier that's just been introduced which is a pilot tier where I react to a bunch of different pilots from all sorts of shows so if that's something that interests you please go check that out. I also have plenty on YouTube as you all know. I've almost reached 17,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel which is insane to me and I want to thank each and every one of you for hitting that subscribe button even though there's always no pressure here but it is very much appreciated and is to 18,000 maybe. I have high hopes. Yeah I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.